Imagine a promise is like a waiter at a cafe. You ask the waiter to go and make you a sandwich. The waiter will go to the kitchen and do that. If they come back and bring you the sandwich, then the promise is resolved. But if they come back and they say something's gone wrong, like they've run out of bread, then the promise is rejected. On line 17, I've created a new promise object and a promise takes in an argument that's called the executor. The executor here has two arguments, resolve and reject. The resolve function is called if the async operation goes well, and if it doesn't, the reject function is called. It's more common to see the executor as an anonymous function like this. To run this promise, we can use both the then and catch methods, which will look something like this. Both then and catch take in function as arguments. In this case, if the promise is successful, it will run this function. If it fails, it will run this function. If we run this code, we'll see it's resolved because on line 10, the food is made variable is set to true. If it's set to false, then the promise will be rejected.